Capricorn, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name's Jane Dawson, welcome to Gen TV. All right, Capricorn, I've been meditating on it, and your word for the day that came up for me was guilt. And it kind of came with the song in my head. It was the, uh, I'm trying to think of the name. It's it's the Pesh Mode song, but it's it's um, like a remix. Uh, I think it's Goldfrap. It's called Halo. And uh, what came to me was, you were guilt like shackles on your feet, like a halo in rivers. And, uh, ooh. So this person's feeling guilty. Are you feeling guilty or is it someone else feeling guilty? And it's like shackles. Okay. Guilt. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readers, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. Link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. If you want to book a private reading, you have to come to me. I'm not going to come to you, so I'm not going to be in your DMs. I'm not going to be down there in the comments below saying, hey, let's let's have a read. But that's not me. That's that's somebody trying to scam you, my loves. You, you come to my website, gentvtarot.com, or it's in the description box below if you can't be bothered to type it out and just go straight to the link. All right, Capricorn. You like shackles on your feet. Mm, I just heard it. I'm calling you on your crap. That's somebody just said that to you. I'm I'm I heard it. I'm somebody's angry. I'm calling you now. Somebody's angry. Somebody took a lot of crap from you before, or you took a lot of crap from somebody. This is, take it how it resonates, all right? I'm gonna be going on the, like, offensive here. Sorry, I don't mean I'm gonna be offensive. I'm just like, so uh, if it's you who took all the crap, you just, you just don't, don't be like, I'm accusing you. Just, just be like, yeah, Jen, you give it to them. So if, if you're the one who's, being treated badly then this is me giving them a piece of my mind and if it's the other way around then it doesn't matter does it really i'm just pulling my boots up way long boots <laughs> pulling my boots up if you're the guilty one then well you know i'm not really angry at you all right Let's have a look here. Honestly. Sorry, that was an Amazon delivery. Okay. Right. Somebody's feeling really guilty and it's... It's weighing them down beyond measure, beyond beyond what I I am not able to articulate this. It's it's beyond me. Somebody's feeling very guilty. Tell me more. I yeah. Uh, somebody okay, this is somebody who's treated you badly. Oh, I'm getting chills. Let's get some back obsidian here i'm getting the chills there's someone who's treated you badly and they feel awful about it this is someone who's not very good at expressing themselves and they i, I sort of feel i i feel like they instead of expressing themselves they just stopped cut you off dead nothing and they feel awful about it torturing them when our worlds they fall apart when the walls come tumbling in though we may deserve it it will be worth it 
this person feels like they had to and it, I, I feel like it's tearing them apart. They had to do what they had to do. They had to set boundaries. I'm just trying to feel what this is. I'm feeling it from your end and I'm feeling it from their end. They didn't need to set boundaries for you. They didn't need to, but they felt like they had to for themselves. It's like sitting on your hands to stop yourself from doing something naughty kind of thing. Sitting on my hands to stop me biting my fingernails kind of thing. I'm, I'm like, I must bite my fingernails. This is kind of, they felt like they had to cut you off otherwise they, they would not be able to help themselves. And I feel like, ooh, 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 I feel like to you, it looked like it was easy for them to be like this. It was, it seemed like it was easy for them to you to cut you off like it was nothing. But what you don't know is that this person has been tormented. Did you cry? Did you feel like... Yeah, I'm getting twin flames. Come on, alright, alright, alright. Getting twin flamey vibes. Did you cry? Did you feel like you're the... F I don't know. Rug was pulled out from under you, like... Absolute torment for you. You know what you were going through? That's what they were going through too. But yours was bewilderment. Theirs was guilt. Dropping cards. Ah, I'm dropping more cards. Can I just pick up the cards? Here we go. Hurt myself. <laughs> Trap my arm under the table. Oh, that's an interesting development. Looks like something's about to change here. Anything else Capricorn needs to know right now? Yeah, things are about to move forwards. Um, are they are they traveling towards you? I guess you've had no contact with them, so you wouldn't know. Are you able to see their social medias? And they saying, "Ah, oh, yeah, I'm coming to town." Making moves towards you. They want to talk. They want to break bread with you. Peace. They want to make peace with you. They want to break bread with you. They want to... There's a conversation that needs to be had. All right. I'm seeing chocolate bread. You know, like bread with little bits of chocolate in. Like brioche. Sweet bread. Ooh. Why is the Five of Pentacles in reverse here? This is a loss. Loneliness. Why is this here in, in the near future? This is what the conversation is going to be about. But I'm finally going to open up to you and say, this is how I feel about you. 
but there's this thing and I can't I can't feel what I feel about you and deal with this at the same time I can't juggle it I can't spin those plates I can't I want to I, I want this it's torturing me I want you but I've got to deal with this sorry my phone's running out of batteries let me plug it in it's readings so knocking on the door blooming running out of batteries blooming Anything else coming up in the near future for Capricorn? I'm seeing you, your foreheads are touching. It's a very tender moment and they are talking in a voice that's breaking. And it's a whisper. And I, I feel their hands touching your face stroking your hair but like there's their voice is breaking like there's tears in their voice they, but it's 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 a whisper i can't i can't do this i can't balance this out i can't figure it out i can't figure out what to do and i'm in torment kind of thing is what they're saying you wear guilt like shackles on your This is your place now. This is your place to do what you have to do for you. This is not about them, Capricorn. This is about you. This is about you protecting yourself from things that make you feel negative and bad. So this is your time now to do what you have to do for you. Anything else? I see the conversation. I see the conversation from your side as well. You saying back and your voice is breaking. Like, hey, what you're saying to them is that and this isn't true. This is why I'm struggling to say it. It's not true. I don't know why you see it like this, that you're not good enough and they're out of your league. And you wished and you hoped and you prayed, but you, you knew it would never happen. That kind of thing. It's, it's not true that you're out of their league. Not at all. They just can't. They can't juggle what they've got going on. They got this thing going on that's heavy. It's heavy. Oh my God, it's heavy. They can't bring you into it. Time for you to say what you have to say. They have to say what they have to say, and you kind of have to figure out some middle ground where you can both be out of torment. Best you can hope for is not being able to move forwards, though. Tell me more. It's a karmic cycle that's going to move when it moves and you just got to deal with it. They're in a karmic relationship. Or you are, but I'm seeing it as they are. See that? See this yawn? This has come out of nowhere. They are exhausted. They are tired. They're probably sick. This, what, what they are dealing with is very heavy and they had to cut you off and they feel awful about it. They just couldn't say what they needed to say at the time. They just, they didn't have the strength. You, you're going to be found, my love. You're six of wands. You're going to get your victory. If it's them or whatever, you're going to be fine. Tell me more. Because you're awesome, right? Yeah, this might be the one that got away. This 
they were in something else it, you know whatever this heavy thing is it could be another relationship a karmic relationship <laughs> excuse me this is the throat chakra is closing up doesn't want to talk they they, they god they're in so much turmoil they want to talk they desperately want to talk to you but they are terrified they what they're dealing with is so heavy it could be a job it could be a relationship it could be family it's it's pure torture for them i feel like you're kind of gonna have a conversation that clears your mind but you're not gonna get what you want there's a victory in the sense that you're gonna have closure but this is that one that got away they they are sort of about them this energy's weird it's it's like it's like they're just giving up you know oh my god they're so heartbroken they they're, they're protecting you they're trying to protect you they uh know that people will talk if they drop this heavy thing that they got they don't want to ruin your life and it would ruin your life in their eyes i don't know what it is but to them it's like they don't want that about you they this person cares about you enough to spare you that but also they're going through stuff this is too heavy it's too big for them the outcome here is the world world's great completion of a cycle i'm hearing completion again completion it's the distance between you travel the world can be travel as well tell me more about the outcome i'm gonna take this into the extended after this i'm reading this uh where i'm gonna ask how they really feel about you where are you in the heart space what are their intentions towards you what do they want to say to you and some guidance from the universe but uh, I'm going to ask as well, when are, when are you going to have this conversation? I think my neighbours are drilling. If you can hear that. It's nice of them, isn't it? The road is long with many a winding turn. It's heavy, freaking heavy road. But uh, that song's sort of saying it, you ain't heavy, but like, this is quite heavy for them. They're unhappy, desperately unhappy. Stop drilling, I'm concentrating here. They're desperately unhappy. But I sort of get a feeling that you guys are going to have closure. You're going to have a conversation that needs to happen. You're going to have the closure. You're going to say goodbye. It's a twin flame, though. Is it ever going to be goodbye? I don't think so. Let's have a look. What have you got for his love angels? He ain't heavy. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Release your ex. So you feel like this is unrequited love. Like that they haven't given you enough information to make you feel that they care. You feel like they're out of your league. What this person hasn't done and can't do is release their past. So that's what's going on here. what is it why is it he ain't heavy that means something this is what it is somebody they're carrying somebody and they can't not is there somebody like a brother just because that's the song like that uh needs them 
like his, his special needs or something that they can't leave this behind no matter how much they want to a father who's sick a child let me know in the comments below fiery climax approaches something's going on you guys are gonna talk and clear it up say what you gotta say is it ever the end though is it ever yeah halo is your song halo by depeche mode the gold frap i mean it is re remix that's the one so check that out check the lyrics out uh don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Bye.